So here we are, Rock Creek. It is Sunday. I think it's 24th, but it's a really nice day. Stuff is kind of melting. It's muddy. But it's kind of give you a panoramic view and show you a bit of what's been done here. It's been slow. Of course, my hands have been messed up this summer. So it didn't get a whole lot done. And they're going to be messed up. My left hand, I was into the Mayo the 8th, so three weeks, two weeks ago, something like that. But can't do a whole lot yet. It'll be another couple of months. Of course, that'll put us into the dead of winter. We'll be able to get nothing done then. But got a lot of room on the bottom now. Can actually get down here with multiple vehicles, get turned around. Been bringing some loads in. I'm up on a concrete pile right now, so I'll step down off of this, kind of show you where we're at. That's a concrete pile. And more and more stuff. But all the metal's been cleaned up. I got a few pipes up on top and a couple other miscellaneous pieces of steel that are gonna go. Scrap is in the toilet, so no hurry to get it out of here, I guess. It just sets in the way of moving around. Anyways, all this concrete is some big slabs of uh, pole barn floor that uh, Gonna be laying these out and cover all them up with sand. And we're all the way back. I got a couple more um, dead laid over trees that uh, are gonna be pulling down from where they're at and eventually get those cut up. That'll be if the weather works through the winter. Might be able to get to some of that. Got one, I don't think you can see it. Don't have very good light, but it's more concrete rubble filling in the bottom with. Got this dead tree that's tangled up in that one, and a couple of those trees laying there that are going to come out. And that'll be it. Get this black dirt, and we got a separation going right here. Bunch of clay tile from the roof. Well, we got this separation where the water is, so I'll get that black out all the way up to them trees and get that filled in. And bring this black, start pushing it all the way up towards the bankment there, and keep building that up going to the east over towards the dozer a little bit. But I'm going to reserve most of that for good structural and. Then we'll be able to start building the bottom up. It's going to take a lot. Yeah, maybe 150 loads. So that is about it. That big maple, or that's not a maple, that's a uh, elm tree standing there solo now. I want to get that one down as well. And uh, it'll be a big one to tangle with. But then that's going to be all the trees for back here. Got that stupid pine tree in the front that's going to come out sometime too. That'll be next year. So, got a couple windows in the truck. And that's from a, uh, these are two casement windows. I got to go get the middle picture window yet. And then those hopefully will go into the back right there. And that'll bring some sunlight inside the building year round. So... That's about it. I'll show you the remainder of my stumps. Had a good fire going last night to burn on some of these stumps. Not a whole lot left there. And then we gotta get this one kind of burnt, but need to get the chainsaw chain sharpened or replaced one of the two because it's just too much work to cut with that now. And a new chain will really speed things up. Make my life easier. All right. Till next time, bye.